Hi guys, JT here, and today I'm bringing you some information on the Humble Bundle Bundle playing for the Planet Bundle of June 2024. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? First of all though, thank you for watching. Thank you to those who have been using the link in the description to get your game bundles and supporting this channel. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support, and you guys keep me going. Anyway, let's get into this. At number 1 we have Cardo, a unique puzzle game that offers a fresh and captivating experience. You play as Cardo, a young girl from a tribe of cartographers who live on airships. A freak storm separates her from her grandmother, sending her to the world below, where she must use her map manipulating skills to find her way back. The game is filled with charming encounters and beautifully diverse environments, from active volcanoes to icy landscapes. The core mechanic of Cardo revolves around finding map pieces scattered across the terrain and fitting them together to navigate through various areas. This innovative idea works exceptionally well, providing numerous aha moments where everything clicks into place, giving you a real sense of accomplishment. The puzzles are smartly designed and require thoughtful problem solving rather than mindless progression. While most puzzles are brilliantly conceived, a few can be overly challenging, especially in the final area. These tougher puzzles sometimes feel more like overcomplication of the mechanics rather than the true test of your learned skills, potentially leading to frustration. Despite this, persevering through these challenges is rewarding, as the ending is heartwarming and satisfying. Cardo excels when it pushes you to think outside the box, like in puzzles where shifting map pieces in specific ways reveals hidden areas. However, not all puzzles are perfect. Some like the fish-shaped island puzzle, rely too much on trial and error due to imprecise clues, which can disrupt the otherwise seamless experience. Cardo offers light and breezy fun with its delightful story and engaging puzzles. Though there are a few bumps along the way, the game's charm and innovative mechanics make it a worthwhile adventure. With a mix of easy-to-love characters and clever challenges, Cardo maps out a path to a thoroughly enjoyable puzzling journey. And number 2 we have Elba a wildlife adventure. A vibrant open world adventure game developed by Uswo Games, known for Monument Valley and Assemble with Care. You play as Elba, a young girl spending her summer on a Mediterranean island in disrepair. The island's nature reserve faces destruction due to a dodgy property developer, and it's up to you and your friend Innes to rally the community and preserve the reserve. The game combines nature photography, collecting signatures for a petition, and engage in simple tasks to clean up the island. Capturing wildlife photos and logging them in a bestiary adds depth to the gameplay. The charming presentation creates an idyllic holiday island atmosphere with bold and memorable character designs. Its Latin acts heavy soundtrack complements the summary feel, and the natural dialogues adds to the overall charm. Elba, a wildlife adventure, never takes itself too seriously, striking a balance between a feel-good experience and an important environmental message. With its heartwarming nature preservation theme, the game provides a delightful experience that can be enjoyed in a single session. From its charming visuals to its enjoyable gameplay loop, Elba A Wildlife Adventure stands out as a net of success for Uswo Games. So pack your bags with a smile and embark on this vibrant and life-affirming adventure. And number 3 we have Before We Leave A refreshing take on the 4X strategy genre by eliminating violence and focusing on peaceful city building. This game invites you to nurture a new civilization, emerging from the remnants of an old one. Your journey begins in a vertical axis nuclear bunker, and instead of fighting for survival, your primary tasks involve constructing homes, cultivating fields, and exploring a beautifully regenerated earth. The game's charming setting is a lush hexagonal world filled with fertile plains, rocky highlands, and remnants of past civilization. As you expand your territory, you'll discover deserts, icy regions, and hidden pentagons that keep the geometry intriguing. The day-night cycle adds realism, influencing your citizens' behavior and making nighttime activities slightly challenging. Your citizens, affectionately called peeps, are endearing, trundling around like wooden toys. They possess individual names and personality quirks, and their happiness is crucial to your success. Clean up pollution, improve their diet, and provide suitable clothing to keep them content and productive. This focus on well-being adds depth and encourages you to care for your peeps beyond mere resource management. While the hexes may remind you of civilization, Before We Leave's gameplay is more akin to small-scale titles like Frostpunk, minus the grim atmosphere. There's no need to micromanage power lines or budgets, but the game does demand thoughtful road network planning. Efficient travel routes boost productivity, leading to a satisfying domino-like effect of growth and expansion. Exploration is key, 
as peeps uncover ancient technology and repair old equipment, such as the transmogrifier, which turns raw materials into tools. The game's pacing is cleverly tied to your citizen's happiness, ensuring a steady flow of progress without overwhelming you with challenges. Before we leave's non-confrontational approach is a breath of fresh air. You can focus on building orchards, vegetable gardens, and advanced technologies without worrying about attacks from other civilizations. Even the space whales, which appear later in the game, are more a quirky nuisance rather than a serious threat. Ultimately, the goal is to take your civilization to the stars by building rockets and colonizing other planets. Achieving this without conflict and ensuring a peep's happiness is immensely satisfying. The game's eco-friendly message and hopeful outlook make it a calming experience, perfect for those who prefer peaceful construction over conquest. Before we leave, we have its slow moments, but it excels in providing a relaxing, rewarding city-building journey. And number four, we have Gibbon Beyond the Trees, a short but impactful game that takes you on a heartfelt ecological journey. This game highlights the plot of gibbons and the environmental threats they face, all within a 60-minute story that is as engaging as it is thought-provoking. You start as a member of a gibbon family, swinging through the vibrant rainforests of Southeast Asia. The game's mechanics mimic an endless runner, with the press of a button propelling a gibbon forward and another button initiating a run. The fluidity of movement is mesmerizing, as you leap, swing, and slide through the lush environments. The controls are intuitive, allowing you to fully immerse yourself in the gibbon's acrobatic world. The visual design is stunning, with each environment beautifully rendered to reflect the contrast between natural habitats and human encroachment. As you progress, the serene forests give way to logging communities, urban jungles, and perilous obstacles like forest fires. These shifts in scenery effectively conveys the game's ecological message, making you long for the simplicity and safety of the untouched forest. Gibbon, beyond the trees, excels in its ability to balance joy and urgency. The swinging mechanics are delightful, especially when performing sick backflips and assists with fellow gibbons. The game also introduces moments of tension, such as the dramatic helicopter chase, highlighting the dangers posed by deforestation and poaching. While the narrative can sometimes feel heavy-handed, the game's heart is in the right place. The final act, where you're raised to rescue a kidnapped baby gibbon, might seem overly dramatic, but it underscores the real-world issues the game aims to address. The Endless Liberation mode offers additional replay value, allowing you to explore the environments further and appreciate the intricate details you might have missed during the main story. Gibbon Beyond the Trees is a beautiful, emotionally resonant game that combines exhilarating gameplay with a powerful ecological message. It's a short experience, but one that leaves a lasting impression, celebrating the beauty of these endangered creatures while urging you to consider the impacts of human actions on their survival. At number 5 we have Beyond Blue a third-person underwater diving simulator inspired by the acclaimed Planet Earth documentaries. This game immerses you in the tranquil blue depths of the Western Pacific, offering a serene and educational exploration of our oceans. As Mirai, a marine biologist, you track a pod of whales and document various underwater creatures. Your journey is split into eight separate dives, each acting as a chapter in this contemplative adventure. Equipped with futuristic technology, you glide effortlessly through the water, scanning and studying marine life. The controls are smooth, making the diving experience both satisfying and engaging. Each dive introduces you to different atmospheric pockets of the ocean, from deep sea trenches to open waters. You're free to explore these impressively realistic environments at your leisure. Using a small drone, you get close-up views of majestic sperm whales, hammerhead sharks, and other marine creatures, all without any imminent danger. This peaceful exploration is complemented by ongoing commentary from Mirai and her team, providing insightful information about the ocean and its inhabitants. However, the game's narrative feels repetitive and lacks depth. You return to your submarine base after each dive, engage in conversations, and reveal your findings. This cycle can become monotonous, despite their fascinating mini-documentaries and creature database that offer educational value. While the game's environments vary in their ability to capture the ocean's wonder, some dives feel empty and uninspired. Beyond Blue's realistic approach contrasts with the vibrant, fantastical world of games like Abzu and Subnautica, sometimes making the ocean feel devoid of life. Despite these shortcomings, Beyond Blue succeeds as an educational tool. Its mini-documentaries provide eye-opening insights into marine conservation and climate change. The dedication of the scientists and biologists featured in these videos is evident, even if the game's storytelling doesn't match this passion. Beyond Blue offers a calm and realistic diving experience that educates and entertains, though it often stays on the surface of its potential. If you're looking for a peaceful, informative exploration of the ocean, this game delivers just that. At number 6 we have Lake, a relaxing adventure game. 
Set in 1986, you play as Meredith Wheeze, a software developer returning to your home after 17 years to take over your father's delivery route while your parents are on vacation. Yep, your parents aren't dead or killed or anything like the Waynes, they're just on vacation. The story takes place across a span of two weeks, and at the end of it, you have a difficult decision to make. Every day you'll get into your mail truck called The Goose, and deliver letters and parcels to the people of Providence Oaks. The gameplay is not complex with manual staring, fast travel, and an optional autopilot if you just want to enjoy the view. Playing this game can be a meditative experience as you immerse yourself into the slow and easy life of the sound of your truck, radio playing some lovely songs, birds, winds, and waterfalls doing their thing to put you in a peaceful trance. You'll also be interacting with the townspeople as you go about doing your job. You'll be given dialogue choices concerning things like if you should help transport somebody's sick cat to the vet, if you should go to the movies of the local video store owner, nothing too life-threatening. Unless, of course, you're playing the aforementioned cat. These interactions with the NPCs of Lake are where the game really shines. Voice acting is amazing, and dialogues between you and NPCs flow naturally. Some NPCs have some depth to their character, like your childhood best friend, whom you're trying to reconnect with. It isn't all sunshine and lollipops though, as you'll eventually uncover some shady dealings in town, mysterious characters, romantic tensions, and a constant pool of your city corporate life. The choices you make will determine the outcome of the game, which will make you wonder what other outcomes can you uncover by making different choices. So there is some replayability. This game provides a serene gaming experience with superb world design that feels authentic. Characters are engaging, genuine, and conversations flow naturally from one interaction to the next. This game is definitely one for those who love games with relaxing, but rich storylines and decision making. And number 7 we have... Never Alone a puzzle platformer for one or two players that doubles as a video documentary about the Alaskan Inupiaq tribe. This game offers an enchanting blend of gameplay and cultural storytelling. In Never Alone, you control Nuna, a young Inupiaq girl, and her arctic fox companion as they navigate through a perilous blizzard. Influenced by the folk legend of Kunuk Sayuka, the game's narrative is also a poignant tale that also serves as a cautionary message about climate change. The gameplay involves equal-style partner mechanics, where you switch between characters to solve puzzles and overcome obstacles, each character bringing unique abilities to the table. The fox is agile, capable of scaling surfaces and wall jumping, while Nuna can climb ropes and move objects to create paths. The game is not just about overcoming physical challenges, but also about uncovering and preserving the culture and heritage of the Inupiaq people. As you progress through the 8 chapters, you unlock videos that delve into native customs and stories, turning gameplay into an educational experience. This aspect transforms the game into a beautiful tribute to a way of life that is rapidly fading. The symbiotic relationship between Nuna and the fox is at the heart of the game, reflecting the harmony between humans and nature. This relationship is crucial for solving the game's puzzles, which range from simple platforming to more complex challenges involving spirits that can be manipulated to aid your progress. However, the game does have its flaws. The AI can be frustratingly inconsistent, sometimes causing the characters to walk into hazards. Additionally, some of the platforming logic can be unclear, leading to moments of trial and error. Despite these issues, the game's message and cultural significance shine through. Never Alone may be short, but it leaves a lasting impression. It is a heartfelt journey that educates while it entertains, proving that video games can be a powerful medium for cultural preservation and storytelling. If you're looking for a game that offers more than just entertainment, Never Alone is a beautiful and meaningful choice. And number 8 we have... Never Alone Fox Tales DLC, an expansion to the award-winning indie hit Never Alone. This downloadable content continues the journey of Nuna and her arctic fox companion as they embark on a new adventure inspired by the Alaskan folktale The Two Coastal Brothers. Fox Tales offers a fresh set of challenges while retaining the cultural richness of the original game. In Fox Tales, you'll guide Nuna and Fox across open seas, through the ruins of a sunken village, and up the Noatak River to rescue a new friend. The gameplay introduces new mechanics, such as paddling a sealskin canoe and navigating underwater currents, which add a refreshing twist to the platforming and puzzle-solving elements. The cooperative gameplay remains a highlight, allowing you to switch between characters or play with a friend in local co-op. The expansion features three new levels filled with beautiful hand-drawn environments and engaging puzzles. You'll encounter fierce creatures and hidden underwater hazards, all while seeking the help of spirit helpers who can alter the currents at your command. This symbiotic relationship between Nuna and Fox is central to overcoming the challenges you face. Cultural insight videos return in Fox Tales, offering deeper glimpses into the Alaskan native community and their traditions. These unlockable videos provide context and enrich the storytelling, emphasizing themes of respect and cooperation. While Fox Tales is relatively short, with about an hour and a half to two hours of gameplay, it maintains the captivating art style and heartfelt narrative of the main game. Some minor control issues persist, but they do not overshadow the overall experience. If you enjoyed Never Alone, this DLC is a worthwhile addition that expands on its world and cultural storytelling. 
And that's all for this bundle. This bundle rightfully focuses on preserving our Earth. It offers a diverse mix of genres including puzzles, strategy, and exploration, all without the tension of avoiding threats from other entities. It is perfect for unwinding after a hard day, allowing you to tune out and explore beautiful worlds at your own pace. In any case, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if this video was helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.